And welcome to the Kalama YouTube channel. I'm Natasha and I will be your host today. Today we are in for a treat because I have quite a few finished objects that I was able to finish and also I recorded a video two weeks ago with some of my finished objects but then accidentally I deleted it and just now I realized that I deleted it. So today you will have a double amount of finished objects of what I've been working on and what I finished. And today I would like also show you this magazine just uh, through uh, go through some of new designs that they recommend for us for spring 2024. And what's interesting, this magazine is a last that they will be printing. Other ones will be uh, just online. And this magazine my friend borrowed to me. She said I can look through and then I thought maybe I can show you some also interesting um, models from this magazine, but we will look at it in the end. And now outside is February, sun is shining very much. Usually in Manitoba we always have a lot of sunshine in winter time because when it's cold outside then we have a lot of snow. So now I would like to jump into my finished object. My first finished object would be this beautiful jumper uh, that you've seen here for a while. I used um, a pattern uh, for this jumper. It was crystal top and um, I knitted it out of 100% cashmere, except here on the bottom a little bit. I had to use lamb's wool because I just didn't have just a little bit enough and I'll show you what was left <laughs> from my cashmere. So this jumper is approximately 245 or 250 grams. Um, I needed a third size in description, in a pattern. And now I would like to show you how it looks on me. Second garment that I finished, it was this beautiful blue v-neck sweater uh, that I was just knitting uh, calculated stitches myself. I didn't use pattern for this jumper, but I knitted it out of Knit Peak Suri Upcycle Suri Alpaca. So it's 100% alpaca and I used five balls and this jumper is quite oversized. And of course I will insert a video how it looks on me.
recent finished object is this sweater so it's exactly same as blue one only one modification that i made i made this uh, sleeves uh, ribbon on the sleeves wider this way and also this way and i think it looks much better so after i finished the blue sweater i loved it so much that i knew that i have to cast on another color also i have few other colors that i want to cast on because i tried and it's very very um, comfortable and i like uh, the feel of this yarn but i think it was limited edition in net picks and so maybe they want um bring back this yarn i'm not sure but uh now at this moment they still have a few colors and it's on sale so if you like something like that so go check it out and also i like this uh, sleeve so much more that i would like to open uh, sleeves on a blue one and just finish them exactly this way like this one's done so i think i like this way very much so. that I will also cast on and same yarn it would be burgundy color and I think it would be just gorgeous <laughs> so my next finished object is this cardigan that I knitted for my daughter but it is I finished it just yesterday in the evening and it's still wet and here also <laughs> I had only <laughs> this much yarn left uh, because um, hand-dyed pink yarn that I had, I wanted to use it up for this cardigan. Also, I used one strand of mink angora for yarn and one strand of yarn on cone. It was 30% uh, wool and 70% acrylic. And I put these coconut buttons on and I washed it yesterday on a, I was really hoping that it would be dry by today, <laughs> but it's not, but I still wanna show it to you while it's new, because as soon as it dries up, my daughter will start wearing it, and then who knows how it would look. <laughs> Very happy and pleased with this uh, finished object. Here are some, I had a little bit mistakes on a, a button band, but I decided just to keep it this way and also I knitted sleeves just a bit longer in hopes <laughs> that she can wear the sweater a cardigan just a bit longer also I had uh, finished some accessories that I don't have with me anymore but I would like still share them with you and just put uh, some picture pictures of them first I finished a very beautiful puffy <laughs> angora hat uh, that I would insert picture in this beautiful beige champagne color, uh, a bit darker, probably coffee with cream. And uh, this hat went already to her new owner <laughs> and she's very pleased with it. Also, I knitted two pairs of socks. Uh, you see a lot of those socks on my channel because um, I love to knit them and I also need sometimes them to order and uh, I use pattern for the socks. It's called Rainy Day Angora 
socks and this pattern i will link down below all the links i will put under this video and this pattern is really great because it has three different width sizes, three or four and also 10 sizes included for women uh, from size 4 till size 12 or 13 i'm not sure so and i needed two pairs of white socks and two pairs of gray ones and i'll insert pictures for you so you would see what i was working on also one of my last also that i cast off yesterday evening it's this beautiful beanie hat i needed it i had a gift from my friend it was a, a regia silk yarn and if i have a picture i'll insert the ball here and the yarn was so pleasant to the touch that i just couldn't knit socks out of it and i thought it has to be hat because i thought it would be wonderful for spring and i always wanted to knit double beanie with um, brim folded brim and i decided to cast on on needle 3.5 millimeters i cast on 120 stitches and i was basically knitting whole ball into this hat and look how much i had left so if i would knit it like just few more rows then i would use up whole yarn like whole thing uh, but i didn't want to play yarn chicken and it dried up over the night so i still have a tail here because i'm thinking that i would like to connect two two hats so they wouldn't open up like this but i wasn't sure if uh, 100 grams would be enough for 100 meters 100 grams and it's enough for a double folded beanie so that's really nice i'm very pleased with this project i really like how um how it looks in a fabric this yarn on 3.5 millimeter needles you can easily knit a garment and you see how like out 100 grams how much it gives you so for sweater probably for size small small you would need like three four balls really nice also remember i had a zumba ball and i finally finished socks out of zumba ball they're maybe a little bit different uh, different by color wise from each other but they're done and i used only 50 grams for it and i still have left 50 grams so i cast on another pair because i thought if i make two pairs exactly same it would be easier to wear them because if one of them is lost you can always take one from other pair another finished object is this beautiful mittens uh, that i also knitted out of angora mink for yarn and for this mittens i used a pattern which called angora mittens and it's on ravelry i'll also leave link below there is a lot of uh, patterns that are with same name but i'll insert picture i use this pattern it has three sizes and i need it sized small i'd like to show you how this hat sits on me how it looks on me i'm very pleased with the result and also i would like to show you my last project that i'm working on so i had this beautiful yarn it's called silly socks from hobby it's super wash wool 75 percent wool 25 polyamide and i actually started to knit socks out of it here's the beginning of a sock but then when i saw how yarn goes how it looks beautiful color change i decided to knit a snake so my son was asking for a long time he wanted to have a snake that will be a a rainbow color and i also thought that i would knit it out of thicker yarn but when i started to knit it i realized that this one would be a perfect big <laughs> snake and i'm doing a different textures so here i will open stitches in the end and make tail on this side here you have some bubbles and checker 
and <laughs> some garter stitch because I want the snake to be textured snake and I will knit until I'm almost running out of yarn and then I'll knit head, head of a snake and then I'll go ahead and finish, fill it up and then I'll be knitting tail and filling it up as I go. So very pleased with this <laughs> beautiful snake. So as I said, I had some a Zumba, Zumba ball left, 50 grams exactly, that would be enough for a second pair. I hope <laughs> I knit exactly the same pair. And I started second pair, first sock, and that's how far I've gone already. So I just have a little bit left and then I can start knitting second sock, hopefully. Next time we see each other, I'll show it to you finished. And next I started a very, Maybe I'll show you spinning first and then we will move to next works in progress. So I was spinning my cashmere uh, tops that I had. I had only 25 grams and I think half of it already spun. It's really easy to spin, very pleasant. And once you start, you don't want to stop. With my spinning I'm trying to stretch a little bit this process because I like to spin every day a little bit and just enjoy the process. Also here I have a project that I was showing you in my vlogmas that I wanted to start. It's out of this yarn Dundaga and also I have um, Kid Mohair on wool and there I have I'll just move this yarn. A lot of small balls that I got for last advent for Christmas. And my dream was my dream was for five years or more <laughs> to knit sweater using um, different motifs for uh, from this book. It has like a lot. A lot, a lot of uh, little small patterns that you can put into the sweater. And my dream was to take those small balls and also uh, this main, main yarn. And I'm knitting on needles lander mod uh, size four. And I would like to show you the beginning of sweater. Actually, it will be a cardigan and I also wanted to try sticking but it's also very scary when you try it first time uh, so i decided that now it will be the time for color work cardigan with sticking i wasn't sure uh, because i'm not using pattern i'm just uh, knitting uh, how i feel <laughs> so i want to do a little bit uh, circular yoke and then it will go into reglan and here you see already two patterns that I chose from the book and knitted. So next um, pattern that I'll choose will be some kind of wider and more complicated. And it would be a last um, 
color work in a yolk and after that I'll decrease um, divide for raglan and keep knitting so that's our, another project that I would like to show you my another project it's a steel and vest uh, geo gradient shawl I will insert picture with all my yarns and since I, we saw last each other i think i did two or one one stripe for sure this orange one because it was more recent so and by pattern for this middle square i need to do four color repeats and after i need red one i'll have three color color repeats and after that i can um, start another color repeat but it's getting uh, more and more stitches every time so it takes longer to knit, but fabric is very nice and pleasant to the touch. And I like finished uh, finished shawl that he has. So I hope I'll finish it someday and I'll wear it. Also, I'm dreaming to cast on more projects. Uh, like next one will be bur burgundy sweater, exactly same one. And also, um, I didn't have any yarn purchases this time, but there's some coming in the mail. And also I have one box that I'll open on my birthday soon. Uh, that's very um, unique yarn, yarn that I was dreaming about. So I will tell you all about it in next video. But for now, let's go to the table and I will show you all the models in this beautiful ma spring magazine and i'll also tell you which one i want to need out of here okay let's look at this beautiful magazine here we have a lot of um, lace patterns and here designer wears this beautiful all color work cardigan kind of like i'm knitting icelandic but mine will be just random patterns here we have festival in Colorado and Pennsylvania in April and July. If you live somewhere there, you can attend. Here we have Lique and also this cute bag, like for different accessories. I saw some knitters have bags like this uh, out of leather and they love them very much. Here we have some yarns. There, uh, it's here we have all the yarns from which uh, garments were knitted. Here, for example, C we can buy or find it's uh, fine merino wool, linen, and silk, right? And then we can look at the patterns and know which one was knitted out of what. This F would be organic cotton and merino. So, and first ma model here, we have this uh, almost like sailor stop, but here we have lace added and it knitted out of universal yarn wool pop. Next, this pullover here, it's knitted in pearl soho cotton, cotton pure. And I, when I saw this top, I loved it so much for the waist. And then I remembered that in my stash, I have like almost matching color to this top. But this yarn is from by Knit Crate, Vidalana. And here we have 50% superwash merino wool, 50% tensile. And the yardage and the needle size is perfect for this top. So I'm really thinking to start uh, knitting this top out of this yarn. Because yarn is so gentle and nice. And I, I knew that I can't knit just the winter jacket out of it. But something lacy like this would be perfect. Now we have this cardigan the knitted um, knit one crochet two bestie. And this yarn is 50% wool, linen, and cotton. And Knit Picks has kind of almost similar yarn. I like this cardigan very much too. Very beautiful. I like it, the lace on the front and on the back, but sleeves are not lacy. So usually we have some kind of top that we are wearing, but if sleeves are lacy, sometimes it's a little bit cooler. Very nice cardigan. We'll see. Maybe I'll need that one too. Here we have 
linden tea also very beautiful because it has like nice lace up front and back is completely lacy so it's like you can wear something underneath or not but it's like really nice and appropriate here we have this model it has lace kind of geometrical triangle and here stripes and squares but sleeves are kind of like first of all it has um they're a bit puffy and second of all they're <laughs> kind of like leaves or like a feathers so it's kind of like i feel like two different styles but they nicely put in one top and it's knitted out of biroka modern cotton decay here we have this top which is also very cute it's from fibra natura ravello um like it i kind of like it but also something about it like not as modern i'm not sure but very still very cute top and i like this like lace pattern this one is really beautiful for summer as well it's knitted out of modeling tosh wool cotton um but i don't see that piece in my wardrobe maybe because i have smaller kids and all of this will be just like in a way but i think still quite cute this top i love very much and i'm sure i can find um kind of yarn in my stash for this and it's valley yarns westfield and valley yarns westfield which was at number okay, valley west here it's 60 percent merino wool and 20 percent silk and 20 percent yak that's why it looks so like a little bit um woolly i think like regia silk would be nice for that as well so maybe i'll make myself that one yet and here we have cowl and mittens like mitts fingerless mittens that are lacy here we have beret and also shrug shawl and here we have some things about designers and a little bit about uh, models and here you can see this top a bit closer also very nice top and here you can see lace is matching on the shoulders and here they have a small tutorial for this pattern which is also very nice for spring or summery tops okay and then we are done